Well, hello friends. Welcome back to my channel. I'm your host, the Dread Pirate Space Buns. And I'm in my new set area because I'm getting things set up. And you know, you know, I'm working at this. I'm going to show you the rest of it at some point. But remember, we only plan a little bit, not a lot of it, because we don't get hopes up and then let people down. Not how we do this. So we only plan a little. That's how we go. Anyways, so today we're going to talk about why I love the internet. Because I keep, I don't know, I keep finding myself having this conversation, <laughs> like, in just various places. And honestly, about it for various different reasons. And so I just kind of thought it would be a really fun thing to talk about and share with you guys. So, first off, I wanted to kind of like define what I mean by the internet. And I know that some of you are going to be like, but I don't, I don't need you to. But some people, we are generationally kind on this channel. Everybody, we are kind to everyone. And so we're just kind of going to educate some people about what I mean when I use that blanket term. Because some people might be like, are you talking about it in your Google Chrome browser? No, no. So here we go. Let's, let's define. So when you talk about the internet, you're kind of talking about all of the subcultures that exist on the internet. So that's like all the websites that you go to on the internet, whether you're a Facebook head or that sounded terrible. Whether you like Facebook a lot, I don't know what to call these people. I'm not a Facebooker. Like even for my page, I try my best for any of you that follow me there and make them watch me here. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. I do my best to share things there and I don't know how that works and it keeps telling me that things are happening there and then like you click on the little thing that it's like it's something happened here and it's like yeah but nothing happened that you can see and it's like what do you mean you're telling me that things happen here like what difference does it make I don't know I don't get that one and it's even weirder that Instagram and Facebook are owned by the same company because they're completely different places and I know they're kind of supposed to be, but like they're completely different in literally every facet of it. Like, anywho. So yes, I'm talking about places like that. I don't know if some of you go to Reddit. Obviously, I enjoy Reddit somewhat. For a lot of reasons. It's a really cool community and pretty much part of what I'm talking about. And them and other sites like them are the creators of things that happen like this but for all my millennials out there this is a throwback to the myspace days because yes in our weird and very strange ways we helped to create some of this by acting like little nuisances on myspace yes i remember what i did on myspace y'all and it was it was something <laughs> and I have to say, somebody reminded me recently that we were all ranking our friends on MySpace, and I'm like, fine, we were ruthless, no wonder so many of us were so, like, depressed and unhappy back then, because, like, hello, you're, you're being ranked. Ah, MySpace, what a fun place you were to exist. I guess it still does exist. This, this is not the point of the video. You get it. This is the internet, the places that you go on the web. I don't know. There's not a word for it because, like, a tangible word for it. I, you know what I mean. Moving on. Moving on. So now that we all are on the same page about what I am talking about with the internet, here's why I love it. So... First off, I was kind of talking about how we all created something back on MySpace and all those little, oh man, I don't even remember what all of them were called, but all the little subsites that we jumped around to before we got to Facebook. The giant that it is today. So there used to be things like 
the, you know, the rules of existence, kind of rules of card playing or playing chess on the internet, but you kind of had to, to interact in certain ways and behave properly while doing things in order to kind of keep place with things. And of course, there are tons of other sites that made this much bigger than the sites I mentioned and you get it. You get it. I'm just not, I'm not doing that. I'm not that person. This is not me. Other places. Those other places really did this a lot better. But like things like upvoting, downvoting things, the ability to actually like share and yes, behind the veil of anonymity. Oh my God, I hate that word. You know what I mean? <laughs> behind the veil of no, no face, no name. You know, it did make people feel a lot easier or have an easier time outright sharing their opinions. And yeah, I guess sometimes that was negative and that wasn't always used for the best purposes, but hello, we, we all watch superhero movies because because good versus evil, right? Like, this has to exist. We want this. <laughs> so, obviously, at some points, the internet, the places on the internet, the things of the internet are going to be used for bad things. But they've also been used to create communities, to create rules, to create guidelines, to create places like Reddit that are actually pretty moderated and, you know, some people don't like how moderated some of the subreddits are, and sure, I'll say some of these places do their own thing. They march to the beat of their own drum, but that's the point of their subreddit. And that's kind of the thing about Reddit and a lot of these other sites. If, if you don't like a certain group that you're able to join, or even the requirements of joining a certain group, you are not only A, able to and free to go join another group, you're also B, free to go start your own group. <laughs> and that's pretty cool. It's not something we've always had, you know? Or especially in, in the way and the ability to connect and connect with so much of the world and so many other people as we do now. I think that's cool. And obviously, another topic of my point. The connectivity. I think it's really cool that that the places that are open to it do have the ability to connect like we do and share like we do. I've been very, very, very lucky to make friends in all sorts of places. And, you know, I don't know. I thought it's crazy because sometimes life's not what you think it is in in another place or you know people aren't like you think they are in another place and so you end up talking to someone for a little while and you're like you are completely different than I imagined that's crazy cool and and it ends up being a totally light enlightening and really cool experience and it's almost like it's almost like old school pen pals but much faster and I'm gonna go ahead and say much more efficient because I remember writing letters because I'm at least old enough to have written some letters and other than like the people they gave us in school which my pen pals never wrote back so I don't know if I was just like the unlucky one or if I wrote bad letters my handwriting is good so don't come at me with that maybe the content of my letters was a little sporadic but I don't know. I never got a response. But in adulthood, on the internet, I get plenty and plenty of responses when I try to make friends. Most times. I'm not going to say that that always goes well because I know that's how this backfires in my face first off. Second off, somehow comes back at me for something else I've said. So no, it doesn't always go right. There have been plenty of times that I've tried to be like, hey... I think you're really cool, and people have been like, mm. and I'm like, oh, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to my corner, corner.
Anyways, yes. So, some other things that I think are really cool. Just like, gonna try to make this a little faster because I'm rambling. But you guys, you can learn anything you want to. And I've had a couple people already, <laughs> go figure, come and be like, well, yeah, but some of this you have to pay for and that's nice. No, I will argue that if you put your mind to it and you go looking for long enough, you can learn anything you want to on the internet for free. It's just about going to find it. I learned some coding and I mean some because I have ADHD, you guys. I, I started to learn and I got, I've got quite a bit of certificates on the app and it's, it's proven actually like useful. I did learn like applicable skills, um, what they apply to and what I thought I was going to do with those skills is no longer valid. Oh, well, <laughs> so that's not happening. Languages. People always come at me with languages because they're like, Rosetta Stone, and I'm like, Rosetta Stone is cool and all, but Duolingo is a free app, and it's actually pretty spot on. And it's not that bad. And, you know, I, I don't know. I don't mind completely learning through something like that. And there are honestly hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of apps like this and options like this. And really for anything you want to do and I will suggest that if you want things like this you go search for learning subreddits or freebie subreddits and freebies would be where I started actually because if you go to freebies there's the little oh hey so on the sidebar of freebies there's a link to look at other freebie subreddits there you'll find like free ebooks um, oh gosh, there are other things like that, but there are also free educational apps, free learning this, free coding this, free this, free that. There's all sorts of free stuff on the internet. Take advantage of it. Somebody put the time, the effort, the collaboration, and yeah, there are probably some ads because you know what? Ads are how people make money if you want things for free. That's how it goes. It kind of sucks. But it's kind of the turnaround of the internet and it allows people to actually do this with a reason and a purpose and an I like an actual you know somewhere to go with it you don't have to to sit up late every night after work just trying to crunch by at a point maybe you can make it which brings me to my next point and a point i hope i didn't already accidentally make i don't know Video is longer than expected. Don't I say that every video? I don't know anymore. Okay, okay, we're in. So, what I think is my last point is that. Okay, so I always thought the TV was really cool. Go figure, right? But I was also like a theater drama kid that did that for a lot of years. I'm going to self-admit that I was a band geek. That's why I like music so much. I love music. But also, these things kind of led me to getting here where I really enjoy doing makeup because of things I learned as a kid. Because I actually learned a lot of makeup techniques between stage and other makeup experiences. I actually really thoroughly enjoy things like set design, deciding placement, lighting. I really enjoy costume design, why cosplay. And honestly, the internet has granted me with the ability to do that. I mean, honest, wow, I keep saying that word. Even, even getting my first costumes. And going to cons was because of things I saw on the internet, because of even starting a very, very, very terrible blog many years ago that got like five followers. Whoa, thank you to all of you that ever did that. If you ever see this, I appreciate you. Anyways, <laughs> um, 
all of that kind of kind of got me to here, but all of that was because of the internet. I, I had that confidence and that, well, that final jump because of you guys and because of seeing other people that had the confidence to do it too. I mean, obviously, I don't think really any of us grew up in a time where it was super cool to be a cosplayer, super cool to costume outside of Halloween, and maybe I missed something, and I was just raised in a not cool place. I don't know. But I do know that I enjoyed every single Halloween I ever got. I enjoyed my time in theater because I love to dress up. And so getting to this point where now I can make it a thing where hopefully soon I'll be sharing some of my cosplay adventures with you guys and my sewing adventures. And honestly, I have a lot of fun adventures planned down many, many, many veins because I'm ADHD and I like things and I like to do things. And thank you guys for watching. Thanks to you guys for watching me do it because in all truth, you guys are a part of the internet. You guys are a part of the community that makes all of this so great and wonderful and that I love so much because it gives people like me that really like to create things the opportunity to do so. And some people sell them and some people just simply showcase them and ramble on um, way too much. And, you know, there's all, there's all sorts of it. I mean, music video entertainment comedy you know it's no longer can you sell your idea to this big guy and they'll they'll really bite off on you and take you on will you get him to believe in you no it's an open forum more i i think of the idea that a lot of us think is just a really cool place you know the kind of place that we should all exist in because here ideas can be shared everybody's kind of on an equal platform and an equal opportunity because your channel can be about whatever you want and i know there are guidelines and rules and things you have to follow go through the steps of understanding them Just take the time to understand and learn and you'll be very welcomed into a community that I think is a really cool place and a really wonderful place because it makes dreams come true for everyday people. It, it doesn't depend on Hollywood's yes or no. They decide. Just the people at home. So from my home to your home, thank you guys so much. And I hope that everybody will go down and subscribe because we're going to have a lot more fun adventures this year. And yeah, I've got lots more positivity to share, of course. But I've definitely got some fun stuff in mind that's that's different. That's different that I haven't, I haven't done yet. So yeah, subscribe below. Join so that you can see more of what I do. Drop a like on this video if you want to see more of me just rambling on. Because I don't know how this goes. I don't know how you like this. And uh, yeah, always open to discussion. So if you've got something funny to say, you absolutely hate this and think I look ridiculous, drop it below. Let's hear it. Oh, show me what you got. Thank you, Internet. Space Buns out. <laughs>